welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing an eye look. This is a smoky warm eye look using my Urban Decay Naked palette. I wanted to use this palette again just because I did a matte smoky eye in my tutorial, my, my first tutorial with this palette. So I want to do another like smoky eye with this palette. I'm really, the two palettes I've been loving are the Urban Decay, oh my gosh, Urban Decay Naked palette or um, Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette, and then my ColourPop Yes Please Palette. Those have been my go-to lately, and they're very warm tone, and I'm just really into it right now because it reminds me of, like, sunsets, summer colors, just so beautiful and so, like, on trend as of right now. So, if you want to learn how to get this look, then please continue watching. So, first, we're going to start off by priming our eyelids. Today, I'm going to be using a different one that I've been using recently. This is MAX Prep and Prime 24-Hour Extended Eye Base. And this is really, like, light, and it just blends out really easily, so... It kind of feels like a silicone type of texture, if you've never used it before. And then, of course, the foundation I'm going to be using today is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. And I'm just going to apply that onto my lids. And I'm going to be using the MAC, uh, MAC Morphe 224 Concealer Brush. And we're going to blend it out with the Beauty Blender. And then to set it, I'm just going to be using the RCMA No Color Powder. I kind of, like, shook mine up and it's, like getting everywhere. The brush I'm going to be using is my Luxie Big Fluff. Is it? Yeah, Large Fluff Brush. And it's a 223. And per usual, I'm just going to set from my brow bone to my crease, leaving my lid completely bare. And so, the palette I'm going to be using today is the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. I did film a, a tutorial kind of slash get ready with me with this palette before. And I did like a matte smoky eye, but I really wanted, sorry, but I really wanted to use the other shades in this palette, like this shade Ember, Ember right here is really gorgeous, and Lumbre and Scorched. These shimmery shades are beautiful, so I'm so excited to use them, but I do want to do something dramatic. Just love that dramaticness. So the brush I'm going to be starting with is the Lexi 223 Short Shader. And I am going to be taking Ember from the Urban Decay Naked palette right here, the darkest shimmery color at the end of the row, and I'm going to take that and apply it all over my lid. Actually, also going to spray that with my Hangover RX spray. And just apply it onto my lids. I'm also going to mix a little bit of the Scorch color in there as well. I'm just going to build this up to my liking. I'm going to be taking my Lexi 229 Tapered Blending and I'm just going to blend the edges of this for now and then we're going to add like a transition shade. And then I'm just going to do the same to my other. I'm going to take Ember and then I'm mix a little bit of- oh, whoa! <gasps> no! I my finger into one of the shadows. Okay, I'm going to be more careful clearly but- Unfortunately, I dug my finger into Dirty Talk, so I'm sorry. But, okay, like I said, Ember and then Scorched are the two lid shades I'm using right now. And then to intensify it, I'm going to spray a little bit of my Hangover RX once more. Now I'm going to blend it out with my Tapered Blending from Luxie. I'm going to take the Morphe R38 and I'm going to take the shade Cayenne right here. It's just a matte color and I'm going to apply that into my crease. I'm focusing in the outer corners right now and then I'm just going to blend in. My Morphe M505, I'm going to use that to blend everything. So I want to add a little bit of light brown to this, so I'm going to mix Sauced and Low Blow right here with my Morphe M511. I'm just going to apply that on top of my Cayenne shade. I'm 
taking my Bedellium Tools 776 and I'm going to be taking the darkest color. It's going to be Ashes, this deep plummy color right there. So I'm going to use that. And I'm going to pat. In the outer corners and then blend it inward. I actually like it so far, so I'm gonna reapply my lid shade. I kind of want scorched um to be more like popping out there if that makes sense. I'm gonna apply more of scorched. That was the wrong side of my shader brush. Oh my gosh. There you go. And I want it to be more dramatic, so I'm gonna spray more of my Too Faced Hang Over Our X. There we go. This is the intensity that I'm looking for. I'm mostly gonna focus it in the inner corner of my eyes because I don't want ember to kind of lose its place because it's like right between scorch. This is like scorched ember and then like ashes right here so I want to keep it like that and once again I'm going to take my Lexi tapered blending 229 I'm just going to blend out the outer corners I mean sorry the harsh lines and then take my M511 once more taking sauced and low blow the fourth the second the third and fourth shade in this palette and blend So this is how the eyes look so far, and I think I'm going to stop right here with the eyes. So what I'm going to do is, taking my Yuta Makeup Wipe, I'm just going to carve out how I want my shadow to be. And then with this look, I kind of have had a little bit of fallout with the darker colors. I know in my other one, in my other tutorial with the Urban Decay palette, I mentioned that I didn't have any fallout at all, and I was really impressed because I was using quite a bit of dark shades, but it's not like a breaking factor. Like I still really like this palette and I still really like the colors. Because if a palette has fallout doesn't mean it's not good. I mean, that's my opinion at least. Okay, so I'm gonna move on to my face for now. Let me just wipe off this extra. I kind of just tap it off because I don't wanna like rub against my face. So the foundation mixture I'm doing today is, of course, my Maybelline Matte and Poreless and then my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. And then I'm also mixing in a little bit of the Marc Jacobs Do You Dew Drops. Literally been loving this lately and I just can't stop using it. So I'm going to do this little mixture. So this is my mixture right here. That, that whole puddle is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. Like I said, um... I wish I had a pump so I didn't have to waste a lot of product, but that's okay. I'm just going to mix it together with my Lexi Large Concealer 526 brush. I've been using this to apply my foundation lately just because it's easier and I don't like to get my hands dirty and like stuck with foundation. And I'm still having, <laughs> it looks so funny right now in the camera. A little bit of redness just because my dermatitis decided to act up again. And now I'm just gonna blend this out. I also feel like this like foundation mixture with the infallible and the Maybelline Fit Me just gives me the perfect color. I feel like they both fit me. The colors like still match me, but mixed together, it's so much more like my true skin tone color, if that makes sense. And I just love how it covers up that redness. Did you like see how that redness just disappeared once I like the foundation over it over my mouth and nose area I'm gonna apply more foundation into areas where I feel like I need more coverage it's always gonna be my cheeks And I'm just gonna apply more on my forehead. And I think that's good enough. I've been breaking out a lot on my eyebrows lately, and I don't know why. Usually, 
I when I break out on my eyebrows, it goes away really quick, but these breakouts have been especially in my left eyebrow. I've been breaking out a lot more on that side. And I, truly I don't know why. Like usually I do have a little bit many breakouts or a couple of like blemishes on my eyebrows, but then they go away like kind of quickly. Now they're just back and they kind of won't leave. I don't know why. And now I'm gonna apply concealer. So I really fell in love with how like the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in Medium Peach kind of covered up the darkness. So I'm gonna use that and I used really little of it. Um, just mostly focusing in the inner corner. And now I've been using this in every single tutorial that I've done so far. And this is the Too Faced Born This Way Naturally Radiant Concealer. I've fallen in love with this because I love how it looks like it's natural, it's radiant, and it blends out easily. And I just love how I just love it to highlight. I don't necessarily think I love it to co um, cover anything just because this is too light for me. And I tried it one time and I don't like it, so I'm kind of like iffy about trying it again. So I love using this to highlight my under eyes and just highlighting my face basically like this color is just like so perfect i think it'd be a little bit too light for when i'm like when i have soft tan on and everything but other than that i really enjoy this concealer And then now I'm just going to use my RCMA No Color Powder to bake under my eye. And then I'm just going to like pat it over my nose. My lip area. And my forehead. And between the brows. So before I wipe this RCMA No Color Powder off, I'm going to tight line. This is the Marc Jacobs Highliner Gel in Blacker. It's get so watery after this. And I'm going to take the Morphe E48. So I'm going to take my Bare Minerals, Bare, Bare Minerals Ready Foundation Broad Spectrum SPF 20 in Golden Fair. I've had this powder for a while, but I'm kind of like back and forth about it. It's like really light. I've never worn it by itself, but I still like it and it's not like full coverage, so I can use this to wipe it off without feeling like it's too much. I'm just like really patting it in and then like wiping it off. So what I'm going to do now is take this powder foundation with my Hourglass powder, the ambient lighting powder and diffuse light. I'm just going to mix these two together. I don't know why I don't know the name of this. Like I just have like a brain fart and forget everything. And basically that's it. I don't want like anything too much or extra. So now I'm just going to bronze my face. And of course I'm going to have to use my Marc Jacobs Coconut Perfect Tan Omega Bronzer in Tantastic, my favorite. Let me know if you guys got this before they sold out everywhere. And if you love it just as much as I do because this is like my favorite and I'm just so upset that I like was taking um, a thumbnail and then I dropped it and then the mirror shattered. I really want to take this on vacation with me because the mirror is so big I can see my whole big ha big ass head and now I can't because it's broken. I'm like highly debating if I should open my back up and bring that on vacation with me because it's such a big mirror you guys like geez I'm such an idiot. But whatever, I'm going to take my e.l.f. Flawless Face Brush and bronze up the face. I mean, I can still see myself, but I don't like the cracks. And if you want, like, something kind of more dramatic, you can pat on the bronzer and then, like, blend it out. Okay, I'll grab a bronzer helmet or something. So let me just fix that. I kind of went a little bit overboard. And that's okay. You can also take like your powder brush and fix a little bit better. 
no, that's okay. Everyone has bronzer helmets. Just use like, I'm gonna use like the sides of my brush. And then now I'm going to contour my face. And this is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Pal Highlighting Palette or Contour Palette. This is literally my favorite contour palette of all times. Um, my high-end one. I think my favorite like drugstore one has to be the NYX one because they're so pigmented and it's just it's beautiful. And I'm going to be using my MAC 109. And I'm just going to use all three colors. Oh gosh, for a second I thought I wasn't recording. I didn't see the red button. Shooken. This is the contour. I'm just gonna blend it out a little bit. I'm gonna use a Sonia Cash Look like tulip kind of brush. Okay, and then I'm gonna carve this out using the RCMA No Color Powder, of course. Okay, my hair is acting psycho after bronzing and contouring. So while I wait for this to kind of set in, I'm going to apply mascara. This is my Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. Now for my lashes today, I'm going to be using my Coco Lashes Goddess. So I'm going to apply that after. I'm wondering if I should start with my lower lash line. Maybe I will do that. So I'm going to move on to the lower lash line. Since this is still like, I'm going to let them stay on for a little longer. Taking my Morphe M508, and I'm gonna take ashes, and then yeah, I'm gonna take ashes first. Remember to always bring it back to your crease, just connect it. I'm gonna be taking the Lexi 231 Small Tapered Blending. I really love this brush. And I'm gonna take cayenne right here and I'm gonna blend it out so there's a little bit of cayenne peeking out at the end. This eye, there's a little bit of like red, like brownish red, and then this is just like the dark purple, so. I just take really little because you don't want a lot. Then to make this even more like neutral looking, like not obviously not neutral, but like just to blend in the outer corner because it's kind of harsh. Uh, I'm gonna take the Morphe M504, taking my Bare Minerals foundation powder foundation, patting it in, and then I'm gonna blend out the sides because it'll kind of you can make it kind of look like not as harsh if you're not comfortable with that. Just kind of faded it. I'm gonna kind of keep mine relatively like harsh, so I'm not gonna blend it up. I'm gonna wipe this off. I'm gonna apply a little bit of blush, and then I want to spray a little bit of my Too Faced setting spray because my face is kind of powdery right now. So the blush I'm using today is gonna be the number seven powder blusher in peach violet, and it's just a matte blush. Whoa, whoa, whoa! No, I'm just gonna drop it. Yeah, this is just kind of like a matte blush. I'm gonna apply really little of it. Blush, brush, blush brush lately it's the morphe m530 it's really tiny so it goes legit right in it and it's kind of like a natural flush this is my first ever number seven blush and i actually really do like the brand number seven i love their loose powder and their bronzers and i wanted to apply the color pop um give me more highlighter so I'm going to take this color right here, which I believe is called Full Service. I think. Yeah, Full, Ser full Service. I'm going to take a little bit of that. It's a shimmery color. Since the blush is matte, I wanted to give it a little dimension, kind of like a blush topper. Just really little. It just gives it like a sheen of glow. So now I'm going... Oh, I also applied my Ma uh, Marc Jacobs Gel Highlighter Blacker on my lower lash line. So now I'm going to... Mercier Face Illuminator in Indiscretion. This beautiful, beautiful, beautiful highlighter. Like, love it. And I'm gonna take my Dose of Colors Setting Powder Brush and I'm gonna apply it onto my face. Beautiful. 
Then what I'm going to do for the inner corner highlight for my eyes before I move on to the lips, I'm going to take Ounce, which is the first color right here. It's kind of like um, skin tone shade with a little bit of shimmer to it, so it's like more of a sheen. And I'm going to use that to highlight the inner corner. I'm going to use my Lexi 217 pencil brush. I don't want it to be, you can still see it, but I don't want it to be too like bam in your face. So before I move on to the lips, I'm going to set, um, sorry, I'm going to apply my lower lash line mascara first. This is the L'Oreal Telescopic Shocking Extensions Mascara. This is going to go on my lower lash line. Now I'm going to set my eyebrows. This is the Maybelline Brow Precise Volume Viper, Fiber Volumizer. The fibers are coming out. So now I'm going to apply a Dubai. So this is a Dubai. It's like a little bit lighter, more like a mauvey nude color. Apply another layer because these are like pretty natural. They're more like a moussey liquid lipstick. And then I'm going to line it up with Athens, also a NYX Cosmetics soft matte lip cream. I'm going to kind of dab it in the middle. I don't want too much. But. So this is the lip combo that I'm going to finish off with. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and let me know what you want to see on my channel down below. And I'll see you in my next one.